America. All right, here we go. I learned to drive with my mother's mini. And when I turned 18, I went to get my driving license. It was a manual transmission car, like 90% of all cars in Belgium, where I live. When I turned 20, my father said I should drive his car to the restaurant we were heading for my birthday dinner. It was Damn. an automatic transmission car. A whole new world. Your dad has a Mercedes? Me. I don't have to shift gears anymore. My left leg is free. Wow. I didn't think about it too much, as I thought it was something additional. A luxury on a higher-end car to have like the Mercedes that my father had. Six months later, I found a company for my international internship in the land of opportunity. America! America! Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> a buddy of mine and I rented a car for the first two weeks. and the oh, One thing I will say, man, I love that every single other country just has this like vision of America that it's like that. And when you get here, man, it's not like that. I'm going to be Only honest. Option available, automatic transmission. Well, okay, no problem. I drove it once, I thought, and we got it. Later on, we bought an old 1991 Toyota Celica GT with automatic transmission. Well, that's odd, we thought. An old car with automatic transmission? In my mind, I'm still associating automatic transition being for luxury cars, so I couldn't place it well. One month later, during my internship, my boss asks to get something, and I could use his car. When he hands over my the keys, he, he says, can you drive a manual transmission? And I was like, yeah, of course, I've got my license. And then he responded, well, this is the States, man. Not everyone can drive yeah. it. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I can't drive a manual. I'm going to be honest. You're thinking, what does he mean? Are Americans bad drivers? When I arrived back in the office, I asked my colleagues what kind of transmission they have in their car, and all of them answered with automatic. Yep. I was shocked to hear it. And when I said, well, in Europe, most of us drive manual transmission, one colleague responded, why would you? Automatic is easy. Why would anyone take the harder option? I went away and did some research and found out the following information. In Europe, 80% of all new cars are manual transmissions, where in the States, it's oh, I didn't know 5%. that. An automatic car is, generally speaking, 1,000 to 2,000 euros more expensive. The taxes on cars are very high, especially in West Europe and Scandinavian countries, where taxes can be up to 150%. What? So getting an automatic over there is a huge amount of extra money you'd pay. In most wait, 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 wait. You guys pay 150% tax on a car? In no countries, way. You pay an additional tax on the engine size and horsepower, which pushes the manufacturers into the smaller and lighter cars section, like an Audi A1 three-cylinder one-liter, where in the US, people tend to get three-liter V6 or V8 engines. Automatic transmission is heavier than manual, making your car weigh more, which causes more fuel consumption which is a big no-no for Europeans because the gas prices are significantly higher there. For example, in the US, a litre, where one litre is 0.264 gallons of gasoline, is about 0.81 USD. In Belgium, it's 1.62, UK, it's 1.64, and Italy, it's 1.84. Driving a manual car is harder and you need to regulate the clutch properly. Or you can see your gas more is fuel, like six which bucks. Which proportion gets higher if you drive a V6. So living in Europe is like the equivalent to living in Los Angeles here in the US. Huh. I never knew that. Six or V8 US car instead of a V4 Euro car. The maintenance and repair costs of automatic cars are also higher compared with the manual. Europe has a dynamic topography. The continent is dominated by narrower roads, hilly areas, crowded cities, and bumpy terrains. 
Driving through the roads of Europe thus calls for ultimate driving experience with manual transmissions. Moving the gears up and down is more common when driving through the countryside area, hence manual offers seamless acceleration around the corners. To summarise, the differences are mostly economical and geographical reasons, not really the way how people like to drive. What do you think will happen in the future? Will the trend keep on going, or will we see a change because of electrical vehicles? Oh, we're Let already seeing a change. Comments. Yeah, but like I was saying, when I went to Copenhagen recently, they had like completely overhauled their whole system, and there was only, I would say, every car was electric, but like 95% of the cars in Copenhagen were electric, so they're already starting to overhaul everything. But a lot of this interesting information, I just assumed it was because they were smaller. That was my only assumption. I was like, oh, Europe is just smaller. They're more compact, so they have to have smaller cars to drive on the smaller roads. That was just my assumption. But there's other stuff too. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. If you want to recommend a video, hit me up over on Instagram. It's at Kanye Reacts. And then don't forget to take it easy.